rural and urban development. With one word, it is rural. It is pretty unknown yet term. So rural development and harmonious reindustrialization, industrialization, but ecologically harmonized with the environment, not disturbing and not polluting. HVC cold chain healthy zero CO2 emission and energy plus zero fossil energy buildings and settlements are needed all around the world to promote sustainability, security and resilience. Unfortunately, beside all unique, spectacular scientific and technological achievements, like never before, today is urgently necessary on our mother Earth to be established on, of all five continents, mutual human understanding and cooperation in all activities areas, in science, in research, development, standardization, certification, advanced engineering, education, manufacturing. We, we are here, many national and very, very important and even more international. The main organizer, Serbian Society for Heating, Ventilating, and Conditioning, United Nations Environmental Program, United Nations Development Program, International Association Institute of Refrigeration, <coughs> it's intergovernmental organization. It's very interesting that that organization was founded in 1905. And in first five countries that did organize this institute, this institute were UK, Germany, Netherlands, France, and Serbia. Can you imagine this little Serbia was among these five countries? So 100 years anniversary was celebrated in Paris, in Ministry of Foreign Affairs, in UNESCO, and on our Congress like this one that year. Ashley Danube, now just new established region 14, and we have representative for main real Ashley. And they were the first today <laughs> in this room. Then there are exactly beside, I said, all the Serbian. Here is AWOC, Russia Association of Heating, Ventilating, Air Conditioning. Huge country. We have Australian, also some China. And altogether, 24 countries are here. Here are all these, also Italian, and so on. All these representatives, participants, are at this conference. And there is serious problem, which mainly, I think, can touch, help, contribute, and really with the power, creativity, persistence of this organization to reach the goal on the way to save this world. I can say that really with the real meaning and belief because these, especially international organization here, are really organization engineers without a border. Weather extremes are happening more and more often, and not only extremes, but just ending with catastrophic results as catastrophic events. Uh, for the first time, last these two, three, three years, we have also these pictures up from Serbia, just near Belgrade. You have on the left side villages, but also right up is Belgrade power plant. 
1,500 megawatts. And it was just in water. It was, we had luck <coughs> that in the right moment, one engineer just turned off to operate this system. Also, what is happening in Serbia, and you can see there is this village in Fort, uh, the villages are dying. But they are not dying only in Serbia, they are dying also in other parts of the world, in China and so on. And concentration is bigger and bigger migration to cities. With renewable, with solar, we can produce even more than houses to need in rural areas. But in so concentrated dense, we cannot just replace all fossil fuels using solar. Resilience, I mentioned also weather extreme, but also seismic are the events happening. And there is these photos are exactly from the solar decathlon. Uh, it was the third one in Versailles, Paris, and there was students, fantastic, creative, imaginative solution. It was from Chile. How did they find how to build houses to be quickly repaired, people just to get the roof after this catastrophic event? Then, migration, political extremes, which are causing migration and immigration. Uh, I think all around the world is known what is happening in Europe, starting from Middle East, Near East, passing through Greece, Serbia, mainly, and going down to. So there are many reasons for these events, for this process, which is now but that is really uh, urgently necessary to find solution. So for example, in Belgrade, in one night, has to find 15,000 people some way how to, get, to give them home and roof. So this session will be devoted to this let's say, global issues, but very directly relevant for people's life, education, prosperity, and happiness for humanity. Only, I think, these HVC organizations are really in that thinking about people's health, about the space they have to live, and also to provide them, beside the, with fine energy, to get comfort and indoor air quality, to provide security that environment around the building is not going to be polluted and destroyed. So this is just introduction. And I am inviting the first presenter to be called. Thank you very much. Thank you.